Now to finish off this portion of the digestive system before we get to the accessory organs, uh, we're going to talk about the histology of the large intestine and then I'll show you some pictures of the different parts of the GI tract so we can learn how to distinguish among them. So the, the mucosa of the colon is lined with simple columnar epithelium and it does have these um, long indentations uh, lined with columnar epithelium with goblet cells making lots and lots of mucus. These indentations are called intestinal glands. And from this view, you might think they kind of look like villi, but when you look at the top here, you see that these are actually just holes in a, a sort of continuous surface as opposed to the finger-like projection that we see in the small intestine. So we don't see the villi, uh, we do see lots and lots of glands, a really deep lamina propria. Um, the uh, submucosa is thinner, and then we only have the circular layer of muscle. The longitudinal layer has been narrowed, reduced to this. That's the tinea coli. Here's what it looks like on a microscope slide. And you can see that we don't see those separations between the... Uh, the indentations, the glands, the way we do in the other areas. So this is all the mucosa. There's the muscularis mucosa, and here's the uh, submucosa. The intestinal glands do have small openings at the top, lots and lots and lots of goblet cells. The, remember the colon is doing absorption, and uh, the fecal matter that is traveling through the colon is mostly waste and so we don't want that to be absorbed don't want it to get stuck which could cause diverticula so lots and got lots of goblet cells lots of columnar epithelium to absorb those last nutrients out of the organ okay so this is stomach small intestine colon notice first of all the mucosa of the stomach is absolutely huge. This has to be a much smaller, mag lower magnification. We can't even see, we can barely see the individual goblet cells up here. So this part is maybe about the same size in all three of them, but the mucosa of the stomach also includes all of this gastric gland, okay? So when you're trying to figure out which organ of the GI tract a histological slide comes from, look for the muscularis mucosa, okay? And the submucosa, uh, because that's gonna be a really big clue. If there's lots and lots of glands between the lumen and the muscularis mucosa, then it's the stomach. The small intestine um, has these really distinct uh, villi and they do kind of look like this top of the mucosa in the stomach. So you can see how maybe you could get these two confused until you look for the muscularis mucosa, which in the small intestine is right here below the intestinal crypts, okay? Um, remember that the stomach has those little gastric pits, but then all of these gastric glands, okay? So that means stomach, mu muscularis mucosa right below the crypt means small intestine. Large intestine, far more uh, goblet cells, no openings or very small openings uh, toward the lumen. Okay, and again, muscularis mucosa right below these glands. Okay, so that's how you're gonna distinguish the tissue from those three areas. And of course, you're never going to confuse any of these with the esophagus because it's lined with stratified squamous epithelium. Looks completely different.